In Nigeria, like many other countries, education is seen as a key driver for socio-economic development. And Sokoto State, Northwest Nigeria, is not an exception to this belief, hence the deliberate attention to the sector. On assumption to office in May 2015, Governor Amin Wazir Tambul declared an emergency on the state's education sector by allocating 29.9 billion naira to the sector in the 2016 fiscal year. Sokoto State Government has recorded a lot of achievements in tertiary education in Sokoto State. And uh, <clears throat> basically, as you could, maybe you are aware that we have about 10 tertiary institutions uh, scattered across the state. And uh, each and every of the one has been touched with developmental programs. Uh, in terms of achievements. One of the major interventions includes the repositioning of the State Ministry for Higher Education to, among other things, upgrade the state institutions of higher learning through massive infrastructural provision across all the state-owned tertiary institutions. And the higher education sector, uh, he has achieved a lot in the sense that even the ministry itself, Ministry for Higher Education, was established by the present governor, right? I mean, was it a Before then, the ministry, the, the tertiary institution, the state, were under the supervision of uh, uh, a department under governor's office called Department of Higher Education, which he upgraded to the status of Ministry for Higher Education. So the, 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 the implication of this, or the importance of doing this, is that the Tertiary education subsector is having representation at the state executive council meetings. So the Sokoto State University uh, was established uh, in 2009 by law, but it took off in 2003, just two years before the coming of His Excellency's administration, mm -hmm. or rather one to one and a half years. So when he came, uh, the university did not undergo or did not present any program for accreditation. Mm. So they, they just took off and uh, they were processing and planning to present programs for accreditation before graduating students. So he, when he came, he realized that the university has no library mm. and it's one of the key areas required for successful accreditation. And also, uh, the visitation funnels that came, I mean, the, the assessment funnel from the NUC advised that the number of offices on ground were grossly inadequate. So His Excellency there and then uh, decided to award contract through the State Executive Council for the construction of 60 number offices for the State University and also for the construction of two-story permanent library, a state-of-the-art library with furnishing and uh, the, 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 the stocking of books. And uh, based on that, uh, the university presented the foundation programs, 23 programs for accreditation. And out of those 23 programs, 18 scale through with full accreditation status. And the remaining five got interim accreditation. That means after two years, the NUC will come back and visit those five, five programs to see whether there is improvement. So after those two years also, they were visited, and even those five programs got full accreditation. So that made the university to have all its program fully accredited by the National Universities Commission, which is very rare for any uh, new university to attend this fit. Uh, none of universities in this country that they have, in their first accreditation, hardly they get more than 30 percent success. So uh, since then, His Excellency has kept uh, his promise of uh, uh, ensuring continuous positive development in this university. 
In Shou Shagari College of Education, the state government, apart from improving the welfare of teachers and students, made provision for adequate learning facilities, which include lecture theaters, laboratory, student hospitals, among others, that were constructed and handed over to the school authority. Right Honorable Amin Wadi Tambol has contributed immensely to the development of teacher education subsector, especially in our institution. One of his achievements is improvement in staff and student welfare. For example, at the advent of his administration, he inherited a problem, a crisis between the academic staff and the government over salary increase. And immediately he stepped in and quickly addressed the issue. And the salary was increased, which has served tremendously in improving staff welfare and also improving their productivity. Because with the increase in salary, staff become very, very more, more and more hardworking. And I think that has impacted positively you know, even the performance of the student. It's also uh, help in improving students' welfare. For example, one of the problems he related is the issue of students' hostel. Our hostels are in a very terrible condition. And when it was reported to him, he came in himself and saw the situation. Alhamdulillah, he has addressed the issue. Right now, uh, a project is going on in the female hostel. And I think the same project will be extended to the uh, male hostel. I think with the structure, the student uh, accommodation problem will significantly improve. It will be addressed. Again, it is also uh, help us in securing accreditation from our regulatory authorities. For example, we run both NC and degree programs. Uh, right now, we have 17 undergraduate programs, and all of them have secured full accreditation status, which is uh, it's not a small achievement. Similarly, we have more than 32 programs, NCE programs, and they have all attained full accreditation. And I think that is done because he has provided funds for us to address some of the lingering issues related to accreditation. It's not a small achievement for an institution to have all her programs fully accredited. Having met all the requirements, the National Universities Commission, NUC, recently approved the upgrade of Shou Shagari College of Education to a University of Education, making it the 58th state university and 206 in the country. On assumption to office in May 2015, Governor Amin Waziri Tumbwell first declared emergency on the state education sector. Since then, several investments were made on Sokoto State's educational development. Now, what you are seeing here, this structure is part of the revolution that is taking place in many parts of these tertiary institutions across Sokoto states. In terms of uh, capital projects, <coughs> honestly, it's been spread across the tertiary institutions or, uh, across the state. Uh, you know, uh, for learning atmosphere to prevail, so you have to have adequate number of classes and also adequate number of hostels, especially at this trial period of insecurity. You need to have your students closer to you within the campus. And as such, uh, the Sokoto State University is given approval to for the building of a hostel that will accommodate, it's a two-story building that will accommodate about 500 students at a time. And there was all social amenities to be provided in that. And that is in addition to the two hostels we have now. And the, the work will soon commence at the State University for that project. But for other institutions, the Shou Shagari College of Education, uh, the same type of hostel has been approved and is in progress now. I think it has reached over 50% now, inshallah, of completion. 
And uh, when you, if you are to visit that's how you see work in progress and uh, it's inshallah scheduled to be commissioned by latest by the end of this year. Uh, it will accommodate also equally over 450 to 500 students, ideal number. So that is the capacity of the hostel. The same type of hostel is being replicated at Sultan Abdurrahman School of Health Technology, whatever. And uh, it's also, when you appear to visit there, you see the work has reached about 60 to 70% stage of completion. Also hoping to be commissioned, inshallah, on or before the end of this year. So, uh, this in terms of hostel accommodation. Established in 2019, the Sokoto State University is among Nigeria's 206 duly recognized universities by the NUC. The university recently commenced first graduate studies in various fields. So at a point, we felt we have sufficient number of staff, we have enough facilities, and uh, uh, the, the salary of staff are being fed as, as one regular and uh, we have no uh, issues with government, even the uh, unacademic allowance which the Academy Staff Union of Nigeria and the agitating for, we are all settled by the government of right, Honorable Amin Wadi Tambol. As a result of that, uh, we presented to NUC request for mounting additional undergraduate programs. Mm -hmm. Because all of those 23 programs that I mentioned earlier on were undergraduates. So now another 16 under program, undergraduate programs were presented to NUC for confirmation for us to go ahead among them. And uh, in addition, 39 postgraduate programs also were proposed to NUC and they have all given their consent and approval for this university to commence postgraduate programs. So in all, we have more than 70 programs, both undergraduate and postgraduate, being run by this university that is virtually, uh, that has commenced its academic program about nine to 10 years old. Uh, so you can see how much the, 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 uh, the, the amount of interest the governor has for this university. In addition to a well-equipped library, lecture theater, and student hostel, among other infrastructure, the administration of Governor Amin Waziri Tambwal is currently constructing an ultra-modern university teaching hospital within the state capital. Above all, he's currently building a medical college for this university so that we commenced training of medical doctors and for our medical uh, personnel. Uh, in this university. You must have first a whole brand new one, more than 1,000 bed capacity teaching hospital mm -hmm. approaching completion. Mm -hmm. And immediately you pass that one in between the uh, existing structure and the teaching hospital, you can see a college of health sciences being constructed that has also reached advanced stage mm -hmm. in completion. If you go to uh, the abandoned Mutala Teaching Hospital, a lot of infrastructure uh, or structures are being renovated for the immediate takeoff of the medical college of the Sokoto State University. So that before the completions of the teaching hospital that you have just passed and the medical college, some other structures are being put in place that the university can use for the immediate takeoff of the medical college. So these are some of the achievements or interventions of His Excellency in Sokoto State University. Governor Amin Waziri Tambo's education reform agenda equally saw the upgrade of various health institutions across the state. Well, this is one of the few health institutions fully funded by the Sokoto State Government. Now, according to the student here, the state government has been able to provide them with all the necessary facilities. They said they have good laboratories, library, among other facilities that a health student requires to study in a very conducive environment. We receive a lot of uh, intervention from the Sokoto State Government. 
under the evil leadership of Amin Waziri Tambua. Uh, some of them, in fact, they are uncountable. But some of them, which I can uh, say out now, uh, actually, uh, even just last year, we received a lot of interventions in terms of renovation of hostels, the burnt hostels, and then uh, renovation of classes. And currently, there is ongoing work of a uh, building of a new modern hostel. Uh, I think uh, capable of uh, a two-story building with 76 rooms in it. And then in terms of uh, accreditation, academically in terms of accreditations, almost all the courses are accredited, fully accredited from the laboratory bodies, some in Lagos, while some in Abuja. And then uh, in terms of uh, exam, national exams, Actually, I'm not proud of ourselves. We used to come second, third, to fifth, each and every year uh, during the national exams. To further encourage graduating students of Sokoto origin, the state government is equally providing automatic employment for all first class graduates. The implementation of this has significantly increased the number of graduates working at various levels in the state civil service. Uh, the issue of recruitment of staff uh, to man these institutions because no matter structures you have, uh, if you don't have teaching staff, of course for us non-teaching staff, uh, then you have problem in that area. So uh, most of our institutions have been granted approval recruit academic staff and non-academic staff enough for them to run the affairs of their institutions. That has been done for Sokoto State University, it's done for College of Education, College of Education. It was done in Omar Ali Shinkahe Polytechnic, Sultan Drama School of His Technology, Gaudaba, and the now College of Nursing Sciences, Tambor. So all these ones, they have gotten their approval and they have made their recruitments. And they have enough staff to run teaching activities and non-teaching activities in these institutions. So this is a remarkable achievement for this administration. With 10 tertiary institutions, the government is making significant investments to ensure quality education at the tertiary level where students are being presented with conducive atmosphere for learning. The environment also is conducive and the lecturers, they tried as much as they can, they try their best to give us lectures in a way that we can understand and they will make sure that everybody has understand the lectures and we are receiving lectures very well in the class and everything there about the school. That's here, alhamdulillah. Lectures, the tutors there, people lecturing us, most especially the way they help in terms of understanding what we are here for, how it takes for us to make, um, um, yeah, let's say, a presentable exams results, uh, for you to be able to know communication skills, how you contribute, how you are to, uh, let's just say, welcome patients, take care of patients, pass your exams, respect, if all these things are very good uh, and we appreciate the way things are going. The environment is very conducive. Under the state government foreign scholarship program, hundreds of Sokoto state indigents are being sponsored to study in various institutions across the world. Part of those agenda of uh, uh, emergency on education, His Excellency has carefully and meritoriously uh, selected 200 uh, Sokoto State Indigents from the 23 local government of the state and they were selected on merit and they were sent to four different countries to study medicine and medical related courses. About 95 of them were sent to India, uh, some 18 of them to Ghana, uh, about 34 to Sudan and about 49 to Ukraine. 
those in Ukraine and Sudan's are all uh, reading medicine, while those in Ghana are reading nursing, that is degree in nursing, while those in India are pursuing other medical related courses. Um, that is one part of that. Uh, apart from that also, a lot of about 300 others were awarded scholarship to study engineering and medicine in Europe, in Asia, in Southern America, and other parts of the world. Most of them has finished. Other are going clinical courses, and uh, some are about to finish. Um, here in, in Nigeria, uh, His Excellency has awarded scholarship to a lot, about more than 30,000 students to undergo undergraduate courses in various universities within the country with emphasis on the sciences and the engineering. Uh, within the seven years of His Excellency administration, we have seen a lot of achievements. We have seen a lot of output. Uh, last year, we were in Sudan together with His Excellency when 38 uh, indigenous of Sokoto State has graduated as medical doctors. Uh, period to that, about 28 others has also graduated. To date, Sokoto State Government has spent over 3 billion naira for the payment of scholarship and tuition fees to students studying in tertiary institutions within and outside the country. Or anybody who is an indigenous of Sokoto State, if you get admission in the university, you know the state government provides you with either NECO or IF4 free of charge. Now, when you finish your secondary school, you will also be given jam form free of charge. When you get admission, automatically the state government has taken responsibility to pay for your tuition fees. That is within the Nigeria. So we are within Nigeria, within the Usman Nahodi University and other universities within the country, we have more than 30,000 students that we are paying. And go to, to glory be to God, uh, we have, there is no any outstanding uh, payment that is against the state government, particularly uh, from the Usman Dahudu University and the Sokoto State University, if not uh, the current uh, admission. But we have settled all the bills for the previous uh, years, even those that he inherited. When he came in, in power, I think for the last uh, three years period to his coming, mm -hmm. There was a lot. Of, there was a burden of, of debt against the Sokoto State Government, from Usman Nahodi University, from Sokoto State University. That is, uh, there is a lot of liability for three years. The government has not paid. He was able to to clear offset the the bill, and he has also paid the current one. When this Ukraine Russia war broke out, we have forty nine students that are sponsored by Sokoto State Government that are, are studying medicine in about three cities of Ukraine, in Kharkov, in Zaporizhia, and in Kiev. Uh, when the, 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 the talking started between the, the America and the Russia, we, we contacted our students. Look, guys, what is your positions? They said it is on, on television that we are hearing about these uh, talkings. So suddenly, the war broke out and they were cut off. His Excellency was seriously disturbed. Seriously, he called his management of the scholarship board more than five times a day. So we have to establish contact with uh, the authorities in Ukraine. And uh, His Excellency makes some personal contacts. And then we start making arrangement, including personal. Initially, His Excellency has made a person, personal arrangement to charter a flight to immediately 
bring these uh, students back. Now he realized that apart from these 49 students, there are other more than 30 indigenous of Sokoto State that are personally sponsoring themselves and studying in Ukraine. They are not under, under, under scholarship, they are under parent sponsorship. Mm. So he, he now make a direct uh, call to them via Zoom to hear from them personally with their parent to, to, to hear from them what is their position, how are they doing, what are their immediate needs. We held a Zoom meeting with them and he was happy that uh, all of them are doing well. The only problem they have is that uh, because of the lockdown, they need a lot of money to stock food. Immediately after that uh, meeting, His Excellency ordered that each and every one of them those on the scholarship and those not on the scholarship should be provided with $500 each so that they can get food and stock before we finish the arrangement. To date, the Sokoto State Tertiary Education Subsector is arguably among the most successful and fastest growing across the 36 states of the Federation.